This is Witchbase News for Friday the 18th of June 2021 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news... Patch 4 for Odyssey hits the game Sagittarius I issue 37 is out today The Azimuth campaign moves forward and a discovery is made and there's quality of life improvements for the in game camera suite on the way. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe, click the little bell icon and remember to select all notifications and to further help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. Patch 4 for Odyssey dropped into the game on PC this week bringing with it another round of fixes and optimizations across AI, audio, lighting, missions and settlements to name but a few. The vast majority of the text in the patch notes which are linked below by the way was directed at the UI with huge quality of life changes and fixes going into the UIs across the game. However the word cannon really goes into full auto when addressing the galaxy map UI with around 35 to 40 or so entries in the patch notes addressing the map UI alone. The design in that particular area suddenly starting to make a lot more sense with some very welcome improvements in place in what is one of the games most heavily traversed interfaces. As we reported earlier in the week patch 5 has been delayed by one week and is now scheduled for Thursday the 1st of July. The current plan for patch 5 on top of optimizations and fixes includes system map UI changes and changes to the outfitting UI as well as the addition in game of shared Odyssey missions. Whilst this is the last scheduled big patch that was announced as part of the patch roadmap Frontier are going to be talking about what is next for Odyssey at the end of June and were at pains to reiterate that fixes and optimizations are ongoing and carry on after patch 5 drops. Just a reminder that issue 37 of the commander created in universe Elite Dangerous magazine Sagittarius I is out sometime today as we record this video. If you've not seen Sagi before the quality of the once again monthly journal is like no fan created magazine we've ever seen before. It's completely free to download and is always an incisive, informative and entertaining read. Be sure to check it out. What Frontier are calling the Azimuth campaign took another step forward last week after the mysterious individual known only as Salvation contacted some commanders in game setting them off on a breadcrumb trail of beacons in deep space in search of what became of the crew of the Hesperus megaship. After an extensive search something was found ...don't worry I won't spoil it here but there are some links in the description if you want to follow the trail yourself. The Azimuth campaign has now entered Act 2 of 6 total acts and is a story that began with the arrival of the 200 year lost megaship the Adamaster in October last year. Frontier have said that the plan is for the story to move forward again in some regard next Thursday the 24th of June. One of the more unique aspects of the Elite Dangerous community is the plethora of photographic and video content that is produced as a result of the game. The community even has its own photo and videography sub community called the SPVFA on Facebook that boasts over 2500 members and Frontier regularly highlights community screenshots with the weekly Stellar Screenshots competition. The driving force behind all this visual output is the games camera suite ...a necessarily complex series of key bindings and controls that allows the independent movement of a free floating camera to capture what is happening in the game or what you're seeing. As you can imagine this system is used extensively by photographers, videographers and content creators ...us included ...across the Elite Dangerous community. As highlighted recently in a video by Ascorbius one of the biggest issues with the camera suite is the blackout shader which obscures the players view from seeing anything Frontier may not want you to see. 
There's nothing sinister in that statement. After a livestream explanation by community manager and camera suite champion Sally Morgan Moore last night it was explained that the camera suite blackout was originally conceived to prevent commanders seeing inside Thargoid ground installations when they were introduced to the game some years ago. It was essentially conceived as an in-game equivalent of a spoiler tag but its persistence in the game beyond that time and its somewhat draconian nature has made it the bane of the camera operators life. Partly driven by a conversation that began on Twitter a month or so ago and by videos created by Will and Kate of the AXI and Commander Ascorbius that beautifully highlights the camera suites blackout shader Sally announced on the Thursday night livestream this week that they are now undertaking to engage with the community of photographers and camera operators to start gathering focused feedback on the suite to better understand the requirements of the community and address some of the problems the current system presents. In their discussions internally regarding the camera suite the blackout shader is being discussed as a priority and its complete removal is apparently not off the table. <laughs> that noise you can hear is camera operators across the galaxy collectively cheering. If you're curious to see more I've linked below to the videos I've mentioned here and to the archive of last nights Frontier livestream. Have you been following the trail of the Hesperus? Are you using the camera suite in game and will you be picking up your copy of Sagittarius Eye? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.